Hello everybody, Jim here. Welcome, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well, making great music. So today it's about customizing your percussion lines and your parts. In this case, we're gonna talk about how to create just two lines, which can help you with real estate when you're working on large scores or whatever you might need. Let's begin. All right, since we're gonna customize a percussion part with two lines, I'm gonna call this perk template and two lines for now. This portion, you're just gonna click next. And now for instruments, it usually has it set up as common. So up here, you wanna switch from common to all instruments. After all instruments, scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see percussion. We're gonna use percussion, because you can access snare drum, bass drum, and other goodies. Now we're gonna click next. We're gonna keep everything standard here, just click next, or finish in this case. All right, so let's take this five line and make it uh, just two lines. We're gonna go ahead and right mouse click, and you're gonna look for staff, part properties right under here you have five lines let's go ahead and make it two lines the line distance is going to be pretty small uh, i usually do two but you can go ahead and explore what you need to do then down here i'm going to call it percussion one in this case click apply all right so we have now a percussion two line part and i can keep this as a template so i'll save it as that and then when I'm writing, I will save it as something else. So this will always be the template. A quick way to get to the drum set editor is highlight a measure and then right mouse click and click on edit drum set. All right, so this is where the big work is gonna be with this video. We are now gonna go ahead and look for concert snare drum and we want concert snare drum to be on the top line. So the reason I picked percussion because sometimes uh, you can change instruments through the palette, but sometimes it's really convenient just to have all these choices here because the snare drum might need to go to triangle or suspended cymbal and you can access all of this here and then you can set up the voices how you want so concert snare drum is right here and as you can tell we have it as a shortcut a we have the snare drum here so let's just talk about the staff part although i have two lines everything is oriented off of the percussion staff of the five lines because a lot of this has been programmed through drum set and then i'm using midi general percussion so what this means is we have to learn how this works and basically don't think like it's piano anymore, okay? What we're gonna need to do is understand how the notes go up and how the notes go down. So if I click the down arrow, this is where it gets confusing. Notice when I click the down arrow, the number goes down, but the note goes up. In this case, if I go to zero, that will be the snare drum note on the top line. And then you can choose a new shortcut and also the stem direction. The best way to explain this is right now I'm customizing where I want the snare drum to be and I'm gonna have the stems up and I'm gonna have it on the top line. So in this case, it's at zero. If we click up, notice the note goes down, but the staff line increases. It's a whole different concept in percussion land. Now we go into negative. So that would be really low, that'd be way down. For fun, you can explore that if you wish. I'm gonna go back to zero. And then I'm going to click apply and I'm going to see how that snare drum part works. All right, great. All right, so now to add a side stick in, it's called snare side stick. And I did make the shortcut C because I have A is snare drum and then C is close to A on the keyboard and I'm not using B because that's for concert bass drum. All right, one thing I have to do so I don't mess this up is staff line. I have to go to zero. If you're working fast, you can leave that out and that can get confusing. Click apply. Great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Awesome. So let's go ahead and now work on the concert bass drum. Concert bass drum is right down here and it's the B key, stems are down. So what do you think? Staff line is seven. Well, if the snare is zero, right? That means it's not gonna be seven. That's gonna be way too low. Zero, one, two. So we're gonna to go to two. Let's try bass drum. And it's already programmed as a um, voice two, which is awesome. In today's video, just make sure that we're all clear with the staff line. So just a quick review of that. If you go to zero, it'll be at the top. And then if you go to a higher number, as I'm clicking two, three, four, the note goes down the staff. So if I go to seven, it goes lower. Now, if I go to minus three, it'll be around the ledger line or right above it. So hopefully that helps. All right, so there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you find value out of this content, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out. I wish everyone well, please take care, and happy music making. Oh yeah!